it's official. The 30% federal solar tax credit will expire at the end of this year. The new deadline is now December 31st, 2025. So until then, you will still be eligible to receive that 30% federal tax credit assuming you hit the necessary project requirements. And then starting January 1st, 2026, that credit will drop to zero. Just to clarify here, we are referring to the 25D federal tax credit, which is that 30% incentive, and it's the one that most consumers will really care about, since it's the one that directly applies to residential solar and battery systems that are purchased by the homeowner, either through cash or financing. There is another credit, the 48E, and that is specific to leases and PPAs, not purchase systems, so we will save that for another video. And now that we know when our deadline is, the bigger question is, what needs to happen with your solar project before that end of year deadline? Oh, and real quick, if you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Zach, I've been in the solar industry for 10 years. If you do want to have a conversation about solar and batteries for your home before that tax credit hits zero, book that discovery call with me. The link is below in the description. It's completely free, takes just 15 minutes, and I can directly assist with getting you the information that you're looking for. And if you aren't in my coverage area, don't worry, I'll let you know beforehand so I don't waste your time. So as far as what needs to happen with your solar project before that end of year deadline, that part seems to be generating some confusion. Now, just a disclaimer, I'm obviously not a policy expert or a tax expert. I am just a messenger of information here. Before this recent bill, the language of eligibility with the tax credit was, quote, the credit allowed under this section, 25D, shall not apply to property placed in service after December 31st, 2034. This meant that any system that is placed in service after that previous 2034 deadline would not be eligible for the tax credit. However, the revision that we saw from the Senate in this big, beautiful bill changed a couple of things. The obvious one, which we already discussed, they changed the deadline from 2034 to 2025. The confusing one, though, the language shifted from the credit not applying to projects placed in service after the deadline to now saying, quote, the credit allowed under this section, 25D, shall not apply with respect to any expenditures made after December 31st, 2025. But what do they consider expenditures? Is it implying that the system just needs to be paid for? Does it mean that you could sign a contract on December 31st and write a check for the full amount and then call it good? Unfortunately, that does not appear to be the case. And shout out to Jack the Solar Guy for sharing this information with me. You can go find his channel here on the screen. Go subscribe to him if you haven't already. But within this 25D tax code under section 8A, there's some correlation with expenditures made equaling installation. Section 8A says, in general, an expenditure with respect to an item shall be treated as made when the original installation of that item is completed. So according to the letter of the law, if you want a 30% tax credit on the item, it needs to be installed by the end of the year. And since this is the case, this would mean that you need to make the decision to go solar much quicker since it's gonna take several weeks or even months to get approval to install in most cases, especially with the high levels of demand that we do expect to see. Some good news though is since this placed in service language has been replaced, we do know that the final permission to operate from the utility is no longer the requirement. This is certainly a relief because banking on any utility to work around a hard deadline would probably be a disaster. Now, since the interpretation of all of this could change tomorrow, and I could very well be wrong, I am going to pin a comment down below with the most up-to-date news that I'm hearing on the situation, but when in doubt, ask a tax professional. So to recap, if you are open to the idea of solar and batteries, and you're looking to take advantage of this 30% tax credit here in 2025, you still have time to get it installed before the end of the year at this point. But most solar projects can take one to four months to get installed, depending on a variety of factors. Some are quicker, some are longer, and I expect there to be a lot of traffic and demand, which could make timelines even longer. What I wouldn't do is assume that you have all of this time in the world to make a decision and then wait until the 11th hour and then find out you're not gonna get installed before that end of year deadline. Reach out to some local installers, maybe get a couple of installer references from people you trust and make sure you aren't falling behind the eight ball. Or book that discovery call with me and I might be able to assist directly. If not, I can try to pair you with a good connection in your area. Now, if you're wondering what you absolutely need to know and what mistakes you need to avoid before signing that contract, check out this video here on the screen 
Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate your support and I will catch you guys next time.